Hello, happy campers. Have you ever wondered what it takes to get one of these hot air balloons off the ground? Well, we got to spend the morning doing just that. And this was Adele Woodruff's balloon. And we had her on episode 171 of the Stressless Camping Podcast. So you might want to go back and listen to that. But the first thing, of course, you do is you take the canopy out, which is the balloon part that you're all familiar with seeing. So everything shows up. It's usually pretty early in the morning. And uh, next thing we get the the basket out. So this is where you'd ride if you were riding in the hot air balloon. Look at that. Here it here it all comes. And in the basket on their team is where they store all the things to attach the balloon to the basket, which is a, which is a plus. Uh, there are the burners. Apparently these burners were brand new or newer. And so once everything's put together, you flip the basket up and Josh Tobin, who now owns this balloon, uh, is going to give it a test. And there are a lot of safety checks and all of that. Just like me, a hot air balloon is nothing but a big gas bag and uh, uses some heat to get things off the ground. So this is what it looks like in the basket. In this case, there are two propane tanks. Um, there are a number of electronics that kind of help with the whole flying process. And as they uh, hook up, the basket is actually attached to something stable, in this case, a pickup truck. So now what's happening is they unfurl the actual canopy, the balloon itself. And it's uh, it, it's kind of like a windbreaker style material. So here you see them stretching it all out and getting ready. And you might wonder, well, how in the wide, wide world of sports does the air and the hot air get inside there? Uh, so there it is stretched out and at the other end are a bunch of people holding a rope attached to the top of the balloon so it kind of stretches up well the way the air gets in is these giant gasoline fans that say uh, watch your dangly bits because it'll suck them in long air that sort of stuff so here we go putting regular air into the balloon and now we're gonna get some hot air. So she is blocking the fan a little bit. Now we cut the fan and, and here comes the hot air. And it's amazing to me how quickly, once the, the canopy is kind of inflated with cold air, and then you start putting the hot air, how quickly it starts to rise. I don't know why that surprised me so much, but it did. So there it is. Air, hot air is going in. And up it's going. Uh, the crew is also there to make sure it doesn't just float away. Because that'd be a bummer, especially if nobody was in it. But Josh was in it, working the controls, getting everything done. You know, if you ever want a really fun experience, uh, there are a lot of places where they do hot air balloon flights including, of course, here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And they're always looking for a crew and people to help out. There are plenty of opportunities, and it's fun. And heck, if, if they get to know you, you might go for a ride. So unfortunately, Adele passed away, and this was a tribute flight to her. Uh, she was just a wonderful person, and uh, on the podcast there is also a link to a video where she takes the balloon up. And now, as I said, this is owned by Josh Tobin. And uh, he's taking it up in celebration. There were ribbons on the balloon with uh, Adele's name on them. Interestingly, uh, this activity, the balloon going up and, and coming down, happens kind of all over the place here in Albuquerque. And one of the nice things about this area is it's not horribly overdeveloped so you can still do fun stuff like this so again kind of a fun activity 
one of the reasons Albuquerque is so popular with balloons is the winds are relatively predictable here. So at a certain elevation, they kind of blow one way. At another elevation, they kind of blow the other way. So you can have some measure of control over where you go. And as you can, as you can see, they kind of get more and more filled with the hot air. Again, kind of like me. So there you go. So uh, on our website, there are more resources. You can listen to the interview with Adele. Again, it's podcast episode 171. And speaking of podcasts, if you're looking for a fun RV-related podcast, well, stresslesscamping.com. We also have RV tips, RV tricks, deals, hacks, and so much more. So hopefully we can serve you if you're an RVer and provide some information to make your experience better. Well, it looks like it's time to lift off and fly over the skies of Albuquerque. There goes Josh and his crew. And thank you for joining us on this early morning adventure. And most of all, Happy camping!